Assalamualaikum to my oral examiners. My name is Nur Shahira binti Shahruddin and my supervisor is Dr. Shahrul Nizam Ahmad. Today, I will be presenting to you about my thesis entitled Synthesis, Spectroscopic Analysis and Catalytic Investigation of Vanadium and Copper Cellentype Complexes in Sonogashira Reaction. There are many types of shift base classes and one of it is silent type complexes and it has been used widely in coordination chemistry and material science. It can be formed through condensation reaction between 1-2 diamines and orthohydroxyaldehydes. Next, research done by Nasri Fahani and Kasir explained that carbon-carbon bonds between aryl halides and terminal alkynes can be formed through Sonogashira reaction. The problem statement for this thesis is that palladium is usually used as a catalyst is expensive and highly toxic. Therefore, a much cheaper and environmental friendly metals were used. The significance of this study is that it will be beneficial to many industries such as agrochemicals and pharmaceuticals. This will also cut down the cost of producing catalysts. The objectives of this study is to synthesize and characterize shift-based ligands derived from orthophenylindiamine. Secondly, to synthesize and characterize vanadium and copper cellentite complexes. Lastly, to investigate catalytic properties of vanadium and copper cellentite complexes in Sonogashira reaction. For the literature review, in 2018, Chen and his colleagues reported a catalyst from vanadium complex that managed to remove nitrogen oxides from coal-fired power plants. Meanwhile, in 2020, Costas and Steele reported a catalyst from copper complex managed to enhance the process of DNA cleavage. In Sonogashira reaction, both vanadium and copper were found to be an efficient catalyst system to the reaction. For the methodology of this thesis, the first step is synthesis of ligands followed by their characterization such as CHN elemental analysis, melting point, proton NMR, FTIR, and UVB spectroscopy. Then synthesis of metal complexes followed by the same type of characterization as ligands with additional of magnetic susceptibility and molar conductivity. Lastly, catalysis activity of the metal complexes in Sonogashira reaction. Next, the result and discussion. The percent yield for all compounds are greater than 70%. For the melting point, except for the ligands, all metals complexes decompose at high temperature. This is due to the formation of metal oxides. The experimental values of CHN were in good agreement with the theoretical values, except for the metal complexes, which is due to small amount of water that is already co-crystallized with the compound. Next, for the proton NMR spectroscopy, metal complexes of SL2 showed an upfield shift for VSL2 and CUSL2, which is due to the coordination of ligand to metal ion responsible by nitrogen atom of the imine group. OH peaks were not observed in the metal complexes due to deprotonation of hydroxyl groups where coordination of metal centers were involved. The multiple signals were attributed to aromatic hydrogen and singlet signals of the metal proton were observed at the upfield region. For FTIR analysis, OH peaks were observed at 344 and 3428 for SL1 and SL2 respectively. However, OH peak does not appear in the metal complexes peaks due to deprotonation process. Imine, amine, phenolic oxygen shifted to higher and lower frequency due to coordination of the binding of imine and phenolic oxygen to the metal centers. New peaks of CUN, BN, VO, and CUO from 428 to 976 prove the bonding between nitrogen and oxygen to the metals. For the UVs analysis, the compounds exhibited three main absorption bands which shifted to higher and lower wavelength. For SL1 series, imine experienced hypsochromic while C double N and C double bond C peaks experienced retrochromic as the peak shifted to a higher wave number. In SL2 series, the denotable peaks were C double bond N where the peaks shifted to a higher wave number experiencing metachromic. This shifting indicates the formation of metal complexes from its parent ligand. New bands were experienced at 330 to 428 which excitable to ligand to metal charge transfer. For magnetic susceptibility and molar conductivity, the compounds have magnetic moment above the zero implying the presence of unpaired electron. The magnetism appeared to be paramagnetic. The molar conductivity values reported were higher than 120 indicating the metal complexes were electrolyte. 
for the catalysis application, CUSL1 exhibited the highest percent conversion of either benzene of 94.94% 6 hours of reaction, followed by VSL2 with 89.48% at 6 hours of reaction. This value is in concordance with reported value in research done by Sutrada in 2020. SL1 was identified as the best ligand since the catalytic activities for its metal complexes were higher than SL2 metal complexes. This is because SL1 metal complexes showed positive increment of percent of conversion of either benzene from 3 hours to 6 hours as opposed to SL2 metal complexes. In conclusion, all ligands and metal complexes were successfully synthesized. Next, suggested geometry for the metal complexes were tetrahedral. All metal complexes exhibit catalytic activities in Sonogashira reaction and CUSL1 showed the best catalytic performance with percent conversion of either benzene of 94.94% in 6 hours of reaction. For recommendations, reflux metal complexes for 6 hours to remove excess solvent and water completely. Run proton NMR analysis to get a much better spectra and data. Measure samples in triplicate when using GCFID instrument for catalytic activity analysis. Thank you for watching.